Welcome to Hotline TV, everybody. I'm John Mercurio. Hotline would like to welcome back to the show today, Miss Amy Walter. Thank you. Thank you. I was just working for my country mm -hmm. in Europe. Sort of like Mitt Romney's sons uh, yes. were working for his campaign but, going to war. Yeah. Yeah. But I was doing something for my country. But anyway, I'm back here mm -hmm. in the good old US of A where they do have real Diet Coke, not that Coke Light. Coke Light. Coca Light. Ugh. Coca -Light. It's, not, it's not the real thing. Anyway. But after campaigning last weekend in Mississippi on his bio tour, John McCain's got to be thinking, what's a guy got to do to get a little media attention over here? Even though Obama Bolo Rama stole the show last weekend, he's, is he having a harder time defining himself to independence than John McCain, maybe? Well, of course he is, because look, you still have, remember, a Democratic campaign going on. You've got, the, you've got uh, Hillary Clinton and you've got Barack Obama. They're still fighting over that sort of important base of, uh, of, uh, of voters. So there's a lot of confusion, I think, the, uh, the, 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 how that exactly is going to shake out among independents within the Democratic base, um, I think, is, uh, is still really undecided. Whereas McCain uh, is much more in control of having, or having the ability to sort of define himself. Even though, well... And I think what you saw over the past month, of course, is that Obama has had a big, the, the biggest challenge that he's had so far in the race uh, in terms of uh, independent voters, and that was the Jeremiah Wright situation. You saw something like 35% of independent voters had a worse view of, uh, of Obama after that situation. He's won a lot of them back, but it's still, I think, um, it's still a race for Obama um, that despite the fact that he's in the lead, despite the fact that Hillary Clinton is the one that's being urged to get out, and despite the fact that it's becoming increasingly clear that the math works on his side, right. it's still not a campaign that he has control over as a Democratic nominee Well, and it's would. still not clear that he can say unequivocally he is a, the stronger candidate in the fall against John McCain. Right. I mean, the, the question has always been, gosh, Hillary Clinton, she has all this baggage, she's already defined. This is great. Obama's not defined. He can create this image for himself. The reality is, what seems to be happening every other day, whether it's Jeremiah Wright or whether it's, you know, is he or is he not really a liberal? What really are positions on these issues? That right. for voters, what he's asking them to do is make this leap of faith, right? That this is who I am. Even though you don't know a lot about me, you should just trust that this is what my record is, exactly. right? right? And John McCain, even though he has the voting record, and Hillary Clinton has a voting record. They are defined, and it's going to be a lot harder, I think, convincing people that John McCain is George Bush or John McCain is not a moderate than it may be for um, Obama to prove that he's not a liberal. Well, and that's what I think that's exactly what the McCain campaign is looking forward right. to. The, the, you know, they, they obviously would prefer Clinton as a nominee right now. Right it now, looks you still think the they would pick Hillary Clinton? I think they would still pick Hillary Clinton. Yeah. David Brooks oh, yesterday okay. said, yeah, I think we'd still want uh, Hillary Clinton. But I think you're right. I think that the. Um, the, the, the strategy against Obama is equally as clear. Right. You look at, I mean, not to, not to plug the National Journal, but those ratings of Obama being the most liberal senator of all 100 um, in the current Senate. I think uh, it's going to be a number, and it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be a fact you're going to hear a lot about his rhetoric. Much as Hillary Clinton has been saying throughout the year, he says one thing, he does another right. thing. You're going to see that shift slightly to he says one thing and he votes another way right. um, in the Senate for for McCain. For or his or going back to his record all the way back to when he first started running. You know that we're going to have to see how well he does that. Well, in general, I think that this tax and spend liberal label is sort of worn out, and I don't think that it's going to work very well for Republicans this year, simply because voters just don't trust Republicans right now on anything, on any issue. Um, it's just that where it may work for McCain is the fact that for Obama, the story is starting to get written that, hmm, mm -hmm. maybe we don't know everything we should. Where's that? Where is the real sort of compass there? Let's Where's the beef? Where is it? Huh. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have run out of time for today's show. But there is a good chance that both of us, oh yeah, back here tomorrow, God, Hotline TV. God willing, God willing. <laughs> I missed you. I know, I'm so glad to be back, sweetie. Thank you.